Welcome, everybody. Hopefully, we're getting through this stream. You can see everything with no glitches. I apologize for being a little late with the stream this morning. Had a little internet issues. Had to reset the modem a few times. But hey, uh, what is life in 2020 without some internet issues, right? Uh, so uh, once again, welcome in. Thank you for taking some time to view this. We'll try to make this pretty quick and short. We're going against our traditional uh, Q&A. Uh, it's the month of September. We're going to focus a lot on office or desk ergonomics, basically finding the most efficient way uh, for you to sit at your desk and be comfortable, but also not lose your, your good posture, or maybe it's improve your posture, depending on what your starting point is. Uh, so we're going to go through basically a few slides on just how to set up your office to be uh, the most efficient for your posture. Okay. So I know there's a lot of words here. Um, feel free to read them. You can turn the volume off if you don't want to hear me talk. If you'd like, you can just whiz right through these. Rewatch this whenever you'd like to revisit your setup of your office. But uh, let's get right into it. All right. Uh, so first off, uh, and I'll kind of read these word for it, just so you can kind of kind of get an idea for it. And you can keep your eyes on on the diagram to your right as to a rough little layout as to how you want to set up your desk. So your current posture that you're sitting in right now, I'm guessing, is pretty you know, slouched and just whatever feels comfortable. Uh, you know, you might have your your neck crane, you might have your back rounded, your butt might, might, might not be pressed right up against the back of your seat and you're slouching, but it's comfortable, right? Because you don't have to gauge anything. You're just like a, a one of those beanbag chairs. You're just kind of forming to that seat to whoever it wants it to be. But you're going to be in that seat for how many hours a day, whether you're actually in an office or you're at home. Improper posture at work can actually lead to this nice little disorder that we call it, musculoskeletal, so MSD. Uh, and according to U.S. Department of Labor, work-related MSD, musculoskeletal disorders, occur when the physical capabilities of the worker do not match the physical requirements of the job. MSD risk factors stem from both awkward and static postures and can affect various parts of the body, including the arms, legs, fingers, shoulders, back, and legs. So basically everything. Now, one thing I also want to make clear through all this is I have another little, we'll call it a theory with this, is it's not strictly just the posture of the way that you sit all day, but it's it's the lack there of mobility. So if you sit in a correct posture stance for eight hours a day, right, it's still not going to be nearly as good as if you slouch for one hour a day and you sit proper for seven hours a day, but you get up and move every hour. You get your blood flow going, you recruit nutrients and, and muscle flow all, all over your body to, to get to your extremities that wouldn't typically get the same amount of blood flow when you're sitting in that position all day. All right, so posture, oh crap, I don't wanna, this is all words, <laughs> let's go through it. We're often told to sit up straight, uh, you know, pull your chest out, uh, look proper, you know, don't slouch. When you read these words, you're probably thinking uh, of, of this, you know, it, Sit with your chest lifted, your shoulder blades back, your chin up, but like anyone in the in the armed forces, right? They they have perfect posture, and that's how you know the military has them designed. That way, it takes away the individual individuality of people. Everyone looks the exact same. They have perfect posture. Okay, that's awesome, but that's not realistic for you to stand or sit in all day. Most people that try that, like you are right now, you're probably sitting up perfect now. Try to try to stay in that same position for at least the rest of this this presentation. You're probably going to go back to that that slouchy posture within a few minutes. You're going to slowly start to slide back down into that chair, kick your feet out, whatever it is that you kind of have that little niche of sitting in. Uh, great posture is all about protecting the natural curve of your spine. Your spine does not go strictly vertical. Okay, it's important to maintain a concave or inward curve of your lower back, so a slight little arch. To do this, sit all the way back in your chair. It, you should feel like your lower back is supported. So if you're in any type of desk chair these days, they have that little lumbar support. If you don't, if you are sitting at your kitchen table like me or sitting on a couch or sitting on the ground, you don't get that natural uh, alleviation of pressure on the lower lower back and even the mid-back. So put a little roll up something, whether it's a small towel, a sweatshirt, a sweater, uh, it, a small pillow, put that against your lower back and press right back into it. Okay, This is going to protect against that low back curve. Well, it's going to give you that little bit of low back curve. It's not excessive. Okay, And then squeeze your shoulder blades back to relax. Pull that chest out a little bit. Boom, there you go. Those are the two big things. Little rounding in the lower back, pull the shoulder blades down and back. Okay, 
everything else should pretty much fall into place at that point. So let's look at your chair. Uh, lower your chair, I always see this, uh, make sure that the height of your chair is so that your feet can be flat on the floor and your thighs are parallel to the ground. Okay, we'll touch on this later, but if you if you don't have a seat, if you're a rather short person or maybe too tall, you know, add in a footrest or put your uh, chair up on blocks. That way you can obtain this position. Okay, uh, the back of your seat. Let's rephrase that. Your seat should be about two inches from the space behind the knees. Okay. So the end of that chair, you should have about two inches before you hit the back of the knee. All right. The rest of the, the back rest of the chair should also be unlocked to promote movement of your upper body. So don't have it locked. So if you try to lean back, it kind of snaps you back into place and you have that mobility of free range of motion. All right. Your keyboard mouse. So place your mouse so it's easy to reach on the same surface as the keyboard. Okay, try not to have them on different, like some of them will have the keypads that, that come out on a, on a little shelf and then you can tuck it back in. Uh, try to avoid that or if you do, then have your mouse on that as well. Uh, while typing or using your mouse, keep your wrist straight, okay, and your upper arm close to your body. You want your hands to be slightly below, okay. Keypad, uh, if you have any shortcuts that you can possibly put on your keypad, uh, that, you know, reduce the amount that you're going to have to use your mouse or click your mouse or move around your mouse. So any keyboard, any shortcuts that you could possibly put on your keyboard or on your desktop. And if you don't know how to do that, reach out to a tech person or even myself. I can help you out with that. Okay. Uh, if possible, adjust the sensitivity on your mouse. That way to go from the bottom right of your screen to the top right of your screen doesn't, you know, force you to move your mouse 20 inches. It's just a quick little move of the wrist. That way you don't have to move it as much. We're looking, talking about arthritis right now. All right. Uh, your phone. If you talk frequently on the phone, if you're a big phone talker, uh, try to put it on speaker or get a headset. Uh, I'd imagine wherever you are working, whatever office you're in, you can obtain one of those very, very cheap and maybe for free or just get it from somewhere else in the office. Okay. Rather than trying to, you know, squeeze that phone in between your, your neck and your shoulder, and that's going to cause a lot of twinks in your neck, uh, in your trap as well. So under your desk, this is a big one. Please do not have anything under your desk. Don't store a bunch of items there. Okay, I know a lot of, uh, what are they called? Modems. Modems are stored underneath the desk. Try to move that out of the way so you're not going to be kicking it. You want good space for your legs to be able to move around, good space for your knees. And if you are an extremely tall person, you're at a short desk, ask for the, the standing desk option. That way you aren't running your knees into desk at all. Okay, and if you want your desk to be higher instead of the standing desk, throw some blocks under there. Ask maintenance to throw some desks, okay? And if the desk is too high, raise your chair. And you're like, oh, but if I raise my chair, my feet aren't going to touch the ground. Get a foot rest, all right? We can help you out with all this. If your desk has hard edges, and same with your keypad, uh, get a little pad on the, on the edge. That can be alleviate pressure on the wrist a little bit, okay? Your monitor. So we all have a monitor. You want it to... We want, we're gonna range the distance and the height, okay? So if you're sitting back and extend, sitting back in your chair and extending your arms, the tip of your middle finger should touch the screen, okay? This is a great method to try to prevent from craning the neck. So uh, I call it text neck, where your, you know, your shoulder blades are back, but your neck is, is so far in, your chin is like six inches over your chest, all right? We wanna tuck that chin Okay, and make sure that the muscles in the back of your neck don't get too stressed out that it causes pinches, pinching of nerves, all right? To find the perfect height, close your eyes. You should be able to see the address bar from immediately being able to open your eyes. You shouldn't have to duck your head or crane your neck or anything, okay? Raise your monitor to adjust. I know all monitors, all the PCs, we have the Dells. You can easily bring them up and down as 6 to 10 inches, okay? And if you can't, then, then throw some books under, throw some blocks under. There's, there's a bunch of different ways that we can adjust that height. All right. Pretty short, simple. Like I said, I know it was a lot of words and a lot of reading and not the, not the best looking slide, but it's very important. And even if you can, you might kind of dismiss a lot of the things I said, but if you can take at least one thing, maybe you set up for perfect posture with your lower back in that arch and your chest out, uh, those shoulder blades down and back for these this five 
to 10 minutes that this presentation took. Awesome. We've done our part, but don't stop at that. Add one thing. If your feet aren't touching the ground, go get a foot rest, okay? If, you're, if you need a different chair, I know we have a bunch of different chair options at 40 West. Find a chair that's going to have a little bit of arch in that lower back. If your monitor's off to the side, let's put that right in front of you. If your mouse was on a different level than your keypad, let's change that. Just one little adjustment, get used to it for a month or a few weeks, and then add another one in, all right? This is going to add it. The, the benefits aren't just to make you feel comfortable or to make you have decent posture while sitting at your desk. In 5, 10, 15, 20 years, it's going to completely fix your posture. Uh, elderly people complain that they've shrunk. They haven't shrunk. Their posture changes. They get a lot more rounding in their upper back and they get craning neck. So it appears at their shoulder. You want to maintain your height, right? We want to maintain your, your muscle functions and allow for no uh, asymmetries or dysfunctions to happen. We want to make sure that the front of your body is just as uh, functional as the back of your body, that your hamstrings are going to keep moving and allow you to move throughout the day. So get up and stand up every hour, just move around, do some squats. All right. I go on and on, but please, the, the, the benefits and the effects are endless. So uh, practice your posture, these few desk ergonomics, uh, little measures that you can take throughout your day. One little step is going to help. Uh, let me know which one helps out the most for you. And if you have any more additional uh, facts or little tidbits that you'd like to share with the group, please do so. We're always encouraging that. We want to know what works for you. All right. So good luck with that posture and uh, cheers.